Hey, hey folks, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI with me, Beanie, and him, Bezek. It's so close. I mean, it's close. Truly, it's close. I mean, close? very close. I'm almost there. Oh, almost there. You forgot the number seven in the middle of it. That's the problem. Damn it. I, I try, I try. And so, I, I have no idea where we are again, because in true recording fashion, it's been what? How many weeks? Three weeks? Uh, about three weeks. Three which weeks. is less than usual, yeah, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, actually okay, yeah. When we first started recording, this was like once a week, and now it's like, nah, maybe once a month. And for what it's worth, like actually looking at my professional calendar and stuff, That's we do have this, enough of this to keep us going for like another two weeks. So That's alright then. It's almost like we're, we're being clever about this and recording ahead of time. Right and the, the very helpful Moogle actually points out where we're going, because I don't fucking remember. We are heading for Narshe. Heading for Narshe, And unfortunately, we're not being able to do this no time <laughs> we can't do an atomic run. Uh, well, you may as well equip him. While you may did. as well. While we're here, um, I, I have absolutely no idea what people had spells and stuff wise. So far, he just seems like the, the fun thing about him for me seems to be that slot. It's the game. slots, yeah. So I think that seems magic based? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with something that ups his magic on level up. So we'll go with Kate Sith. Sure. Unless man. there's something better. So you're learning. Was it Imp, uh, Confuse, and Float, was it? Chaos Wave also works, actually. I mm. know, oh, uh, he's already that's got... That's uh, Maduin. Maduin, not hey, Chaos Wave. Do, do you remember Maduin? That's, no. That's... Wait, what's, what's Terra called in this? What do we call Terra? Main uh, character? Um, Jerike. Jerike, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Break that's, that trade of thought. <laughs> Maduin is Jerafk's dad. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can just equip her dad to her. It's really that's kind of weird. That's not okay. It's like, bad touch? <laughs> Like, hey dad, do you mind if I wear you like a hat? <laughs> Wait, so that's how we're equipping these things? We're just sure. literally putting them on like pieces of clothing? like Or like, you know, just right up the butt. <laughs> just boop, I up the butt. The magic comes from within. <laughs> up the butt. <laughs> I mean, they kind of look like... I'm going to head to Narshe. <laughs> like, I don't know what you're saying right now, so I'm going to head to Narshe. I cannot remember. I know we had this big thing about learning controls and stuff for this, but I and, cannot and remember what you said. Also going up the butt. Oop, there we go. <laughs> Wee! This Woo! is awesome! Mode 7! <laughs> and that is really actually kind of fun. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the... I don't remember the comp... speed is satisfying speed. I don't remember the compass being in the original version. I think that's been added in. Uh, entirely possible. Although, with the map open, you really don't... Although, yeah. get rid of the map a little, because I don't need it I mean, big. yeah, I guess. Oh, no, it is... Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, it's no, even bigger. Yeah. No, okay. okay. There, there we go. That's what we want. Now, in true Final Fantasy style, you can only land on grass. Of course. Of course. You, well, you won't be able to land the only airship in the mountains. Well, you should be able to. Oop, I mean, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, well, now you're... Take the wheel! <laughs> Where are you taking it? Oh, also, not a wheel. Clearly <laughs> not a wheel. How do you... Hmm. How do you land, damn it? See, it's, got a it. it's clearly got a down button. Um, I mean... Uh, I don't know, I don't know what you're... <laughs> like, go, go forward a bit. You're actually on the mountain. You need to be on the grass. Yeah, I'm on the grass. And then, I don't know what, how you did it, but they, you made a down button appear. Yeah. Like, above your head, like a speech bubble. Oh, did I? You did. I don't know how you did it, but you did. There you oh, go. There, there we go. Is. So, how do... How do? How do? Like that. Fixed I don't know what it. you did, but you did that. Oh, you are I'm right in front of the door. Boop. Oh, come on. <laughs> in the two <laughs> steps, Bunny Rabbit comes up behind and says, Hey, want to see my lettuce? Oh, shit. And that's what fucked up us. Just run. straight up murdered. <laughs> speed run. This is whatever the opposite of a speed run is, <laughs> by the way. Uh, a let's play? <laughs> if you call uh, it I that, mean... okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, what? Oh god, voice acting. You are these guys, you are the lollipop <laughs> guild on these guys, I remember that. Oh, <laughs> are these the Irish guys? Uh, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't whatever. I, They're basically nah. the same. Basically. Oh, that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> this was you as well. Oh, you're here! There it is. <laughs> With his mighty <coughs> mane! Oh, you're here! The people of Narsha have finally decided to find the Empire! How did things going back to. Great big bushy beard. <laughs> he's, oh, he's just like, headbanging now. His avatar looks so different to his portrait. Like. He does not look. Yeah, I know. He not, does not look as half as. That's that's all the same with all of them. Like their <laughs> portraits are at best a vague representation. Yeah. I think this is the old guy on the left. So I was him. Uh, I see. 
We'd been trying to work out a plan to make use of Nashe's resources and Vigoro's machinery, but we just don't have enough troops to storm the Empire. At least I think that was that guy. Uh, if not, the guy on the right's got a really old man voice now. Eh, works, boy. <laughs> I guess so. Funny. We um, have to open a shield gate! Um, which I mean, sounds like a you Oh, hello, hello Draft K. Draft The gates to the Esper world? Just runs in like, oh hey, I hear you talking about Espers. <laughs> For oh shit, it is that guy! <laughs> Fuck, he's an old man now! <laughs> We'll never beat the Empire without death. How am I supposed to remember these people without portraits? Come on, game. <laughs> the shield gate lies to the Empire East. When we open it, the Aspens can attack from there. When we launch the invasion from the north. I, I, I kind of feel like the old, the actual old man that you thought it was is honestly just not supposed to be here. He's just wandering. <laughs> he's just so confused right now. I missed that completely by accident. He said attack on two fronts, but I have no fucking uh, clue who was talking. I think it was Alvis. Okay. Uh, it was the only one about a portrait, so... Uh, okay, he didn't say. All right. We must re-establish the bond of trust that once existed between humans and espers. The espers must be made to understand. And there is only one among us who can make them. I fucking love this part, because it's like, we are going to bust down the gate that they sealed and then make them understand that we come in peace. <laughs> it's like, dude, come on. It's, it's not like, how this works. Ellipsis. It's, it's not. It's, it's like up. beating down the front door of the white flag. <laughs> I mean, I, I think this is Sean Connery. <clears throat> if humans and espers were truly incompatible, I would never have been born. Oh, no, that's oh, okay. okay. No, her inner monologue is not. <laughs> Actually, no, Sean Connery was also part Esper. <laughs> so, apparently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her inner monologue is now Sean Connery. <laughs> I feel like oh, I've I'm the only one who can! Alright, self said as much. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, yeah, just prove that we you know, make us all feel useless, why don't you? Just yeah. A horrible mm. person. Uh, okay then. If we can get the Aspers to understand, we can put an end to this war once and for all. Oh, Jeff K, I know you can do it. The seal gate lies further to the Empire's East, but they keep it under tight surveillance. Please find a way to slip through and open the gate. There's a very important thing you need to do in this room. Very important. Highly important. I mean, him. obviously talk to this guy. Don't no, even get me. we are left with no choice but to take up arms against the Empire. I suppose it was inevitable. So for a good portion of that, it's just kind of gaining momentum in that. Like, Yes. <laughs> uh, also. Very important, very important. Yes. <laughs> We're back to Please. getting clock elixirs, everyone. Oh, yeah, sprint shoes. Wait, wasn't there a bedroom in here last time? Uh, I think it's a different house this time. Okay, okay. <laughs> this isn't the old man's house. Right. Fine. I, I hope. I guess. Okay, no, it's not. No. It's not, because that was on the right hand side. Yes. That was like, geez, you've done some remodeling. <laughs> like, very quick. I also thought you were stuck for a moment there. So did I. <laughs> uh, there was that moment that passed, in my uh, passed through my brain. Um, I wonder if they've updated any of the shops. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Okay, let's have a quick look. It's a story event, so... Uh, um, yes, yes they have. None of these were here last time. Are they not? Yeah, uh, scrolls and stuff weren't not when we were first here. Uh, right, yeah, game. actually, fair point. Uh, how many have I got? I've got. You've got twelve, 12 so we'll take uh, eight. Knock us up to twenty. I In don't fact, think you'll need got... more after that, realistically. Uh, because I tend to play very different. Like that's very true. You die a lot, but yeah. then again, there's also weapons and stuff shop. I, know. I, I was actually watching the episode that went up today, just to you know completely date this recording as well. It's episode 33. I watched it, and I just watched it in that episode as you spent all your money on Phoenix Downs and then went to the <laughs> weapon shop. It's like, oh god, Beanie, please, Beanie, uh, please, stop, stop. See, it hurts. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that because it's just how I, it's always been how I play. I'd rather have the medicinal items rather mm. than the buffs. That's right. a very cool uh, relic, by the way. Uh, where I will sometimes cat. Yes, it is, especially so, for somebody like uh, Twenty Eight Nine who can punch the shit out of everything. Yeah, more for people who can take hits because you know, because you can also get um the one that the, covers. Yeah, cover of some kind. Mm -hmm. I forget what it's actually called. Uh, I think we might actually have it already. I'm not sure where. I've also got Hermes sandals. I really like haste as, uh, as a spell, so hopefully mm. I can make that useful. Uh, for now, I actually think. Oh, he's always got he's only got Hermes sandals apparently. Apparently so. Uh, Hero's ring, what's that do? I wonder. Uh, allows you to two hand a weapon, I think. No, that's gone. I think. Well, it just add first, help? But does it add help? Um, Hero's, Hero's ring. ring. 
Boost both physical and magical attack. Ah, okay. there you go. So it just makes you more powerful. Have a black belt and Hermes sandals, I think, work out very, very well. Just that which is what's the upgrade from this? Doesn't actually tell mm. me, so... Well, there's no stats. Like, most most relics don't actually give stats. Mm. We've seen his weapon. <laughs> Cards. Yep. I don't think you can change that. I... I, I'm pretty sure that's the only weapon he gets the entire game. <laughs> Fair enough. You can give him a shield, and that's about it. Fair enough. Maybe you can optimise as well. You don't want to do all this manual. That's a very good point. He does not optimise relics, of course. Uh, let's give him some stuff as well, just to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. uh... I have absolutely no idea what stats his... A uh, real ability does. You know what? It's lots of ability. So I don't expect him to be wild awesome. guest time. So I will. <laughs> Book code. details, knight's moral code. You know what? I'm gonna give him that, not because I want him to counter and stuff with it, but because I don't really care if he lives or dies. <laughs> <laughs> because you want you're you're chasing that no tonic run, basically. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like the game forces on me, damn it. Um, be nice to Dracula. <laughs> We'll have a quick look in the weapons shop, mm -hmm. and I think that's the last place we need to go to. Did you go <laughs> to the armor shop? Poison? Rod? Of course, armor's a different thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, rod containing the power of poison. That can be used by three... No, no that these, can be used these are tools. Here. These are tools. No, oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, tools, yeah. Are they... Yeah, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, maybe. Anyway. No, uh, no, they're, uh, no, they're not, actually. They are weapons. Sorry. So I guess we're getting someone who can use rods. I guess so. <sighs> Did not see that coming. Uh... Didn't see getting another character. Uh, no. I mean, you already the, have The knife. thumbnail is literally all the characters. <laughs> in, so, I'm assuming we'll be getting three more, maybe. Mm, maybe. Just looking at the... In fact, we might even be getting another four after that. Maybe? <laughs> uh, uh, mm? Maybe? Maybe. Uh, one, star, one, day I'm, one day I'm going to make you play uh, one of the Sweet Odin games. Because that game has literally hundreds of playable characters in it. JRPG, and the story changes based on the amount of them that you get. Which is very cool. Like, and most cool. of them, like 95% of them are optional. That's really cool. It's very cool. It's a very fun game. Right. JRPG as well. We it's one, play it. Although it's one of the reasons I, I couldn't get into the Dynasty Warrior games is because I really... What I love about games is really loving getting into the story of the characters themselves. Mm. But there's just so many characters in those games. Like If you try and follow every single story, it's like, uh, my brain hurts. Most of the... In Suicode anyway, most of the characters don't have... Uh, long stories they've got like mm. one or two story things and then it's about it and then they just add stuff to the game and add to playable characters okay so it's a it's really fun it doesn't overload you that's cool that's it's a very cool right, game that's the right way to do it in my opinion so we go in two is actually my favorite jrpg ever right. mm -hmm. very good well i feel like the uh since you made me play this i think for the next series i've already uh, recommended that I make you play a game that I've only just that's only just come out, mm. but has very much impressed me. Like yeah, you've already a, you've already mentioned it. As a lover of the uh, of the older Final Fantasy games, mm. uh, seven, eight, and nine especially. Didn't check the clock for elixirs. I did. Did you? I was yeah, not was paying a, attention. It was not in there. No, it was an elixirless clock. No, that's that's wrong. I is just just all kinds just of wrong. wrong. Just and oh, horrible. you ran away. Yep. Because we're now you? heading to the East Empire. I think you said. Open so. The map. Uh, so yeah, we've actually been there once, but already we, we got in a fight and got thrown out. Sounds like us. <laughs> uh, Sounds about right. <laughs> -na 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 Cannot tell where I am on that small map. Wait, doesn't that show you on the small map? Oh, uh, does it not? I assumed that was small. I just couldn't see it. Okay, no. I see where does I am. Yeah, uh, I can get rid of that now. This is what I was trying to do. Yeah, I actually, actually show you. Get close as I can. Yeah. I am lazy. I must not walk. <laughs> Also, I always wonder where this bridge goes. What, this one? Yeah, like the bridge to the right. It doesn't go anywhere. So, hey, maybe it goes into the mountains. I was going to say, there is actually land over there, so, mm. you know. This is not nothing. Doesn't look that way. I mean, oh. there is a land mass, but it's all mountain. Is this not the way to the... This is We're going to the Esper Gate, so that's what this is, I'm assuming. Maybe it is. Let's find out. Next time on... Actually, actually I was, I was going to joke, but uh, we're getting to that point. So I think, yeah, actually, next time <laughs> on... Uh, well, on Final Fantasy VI, I guess. So if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll be back next time. For the mystery and intrigue about what's over that bridge. Bye. Bye. Bye.